recipe number three, root beer pulled pork. So I think I know where we're going with this. Anytime you have something sweet that we add and we're doing the slow cooker, we're gonna mm -hmm. have like that nice, there's gonna be some caramelizing happening, I think. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's start with this very large piece of pork. <laughs> so we're using a boneless pork shoulder today. This is about a four and a half to five pound roast. Okay. And uh, as you can see, there's some nice marbling here. And that's exactly what you want for pulled pork, right? Because when you cook it low and slow, all of that fat is going to um, render and you're gonna end up with a really nice moist product tender, that's gonna tender. Pull, pull apart. Yeah. So the first thing we're gonna do is rub this roast. And we've got this wonderful rub here with a bunch of different spices. We've got some brown sugar, some chili powder in there. So a little more sweet. We've got the root beer sweet, you've got the sugar yeah, sweet. And some chili powder. Uh, the garlic powder, onion powder, also adds a little, sp a little bit of spice. Then we have a little bit of paprika and some dry mustard and just a pinch of celery salt as well. Is that as fun as it looks? It is, and you just want to massage that right in. You're going to use this whole, whole amount. Like, do you actually work it in? Like, it's not just putting it on the top. It's like you actually really want to kind of work it in there Yeah, as well. you just really kind of like rub it in. It does get a little bit messy, which is one of the reasons why I'm wearing gloves, because it just makes for easier right. cleaning of hands after. But Even yeah. Even just the rub smells so amazing. You want to make sure you get it on all, all the sides. And you know, the great thing about this is you don't have to be, um, you know, dainty or delicate. anything like or delicate. delicate you can just, this. and then I usually just kind of mop up the yeah. rest by You've done doing this that. before, maybe <laughs> once or twice. Just <laughs> once or twice. Awesome. And this is a really simple recipe. The, the ingredients in the seasoning are pretty standard for when you're making a pulled pork. So, yeah. and it's stuff that most people have at home. Yeah, right? I was gonna say nothing like super unusual, and which is also fine, but yeah. So simple. then we put our roast into the slow cooker. Okay. So I'm just gonna transfer that over. <sighs> My slow cooker, it unfortunately, it, it it, it is no more. I have to get another one because it's like this is such a convenient way to cook. You know, once you get your thing in there, whatever it is that yep. you're making, it's like, you know, exactly. off you go. So. so you're gonna add some root beer okay. um, to that. So we've got... Um, just right on top, the yeah, side? Yeah, we've got about just all over. Just in. I don't want to put it, you just put all that rub goes on in there. The bottom. Put it in the all bottom. Right, all right. So the key thing about slow cooking is that you want to reduce the amount of liquid that you would normally put in uh, if you were, say, cooking the same recipe in the oven. So there's kind of a general rule of thumb. It's about a quarter cup of liquid per pound of meat. And the other factor that's gonna come into play too is the amount of marbling in, in your, uh, whatever meat that you're, the you're cooking. That you're because using, yeah. the more fat, the more liquid is going sure. to come out, which yeah. means the less liquid you need to actually add. Okay. You don't want your meat boiling in your slow cooker. Right, yeah. Yeah, we've all kind of done that. Yeah, so ideal. I'm just going to get rid of this okay. and give my hands a quick wash. And so, of course, like, it's all about take-alongs uh, with Manitoba to Report tonight, and so it's the, ease of tra it's the ease of transport, it's the ease of, you know, you can serve it at home, you can take it along with you. And one of the other things that I kind of like about this is that, you know, traditionally, I guess, pulled pork is served on a bun. Um, but you can also do, uh, Susan, um, like lettuce, like people put it in sure. lettuce, like lettuce, the lettuce wraps, wraps the yep. low carb option, if that's something that uh, that's important to you, that's another way to go. Yeah. Yeah. So we would then put the lid on that, cover it up and cook it on low for about eight hours. Okay. Um, this is a great thing that you can do overnight, right? Put it, put yes. it on before you go I to bed, you wake up in the morning <laughs> and you've got this delicious pulled pork. Okay. Yes. Um, so then away it would go. And then you're gonna have a whole pile of cooking liquid in here, probably close to like three, four cups. Um, you're gonna to wanna to get rid of it all, but you're gonna reserve half a cup and I'll explain why okay. after. So here we have the pulled pork that's uh, come out of our slow cooker. We're gonna shred it. And as you will see, it's gonna shred oh my gosh. pretty easily. You just gotta start it somewhere. You barely have to even somewhere. touch it. Yeah. And it's going to <gasps> just oh kind my of gosh. fall mm. apart. That's amazing. Right? And then any discarded uh, little bit of fat that you want to discard, it's easy enough just to do, to right? So, that so you out, can yeah. just see how it just falls yeah. apart. Oh, you goodness. can leave some bigger pieces too. You don't want it to be like totally mushy. Sure. So okay. I know you're just tempted to like I, I, sneak a piece I am right off this cutting physically board. physically restraining myself <laughs> right now. So you would do that. Um, you would keep going with that throughout the whole, obviously the whole yeah. um, roast. And then it goes back into the slow cooker. So we have some here that's uh, already done. We've, we've shredded it, we've put it into the slow cooker. 
we're going to add in a half a cup of the reserved, the reserved liquid, okay. right? And we've even skimmed the fat off a little bit. The reason you want to do that, it just adds a little bit of moisture, but it also, all those cooking juices that uh, are in there is going to, um, we want to add that kind of a little bit back in. And then we've got a root beer flavored barbecue sauce that, um, that we would add, and you can add as much as you like. Mm -hmm. Not everyone likes it really saucy, so just add enough to make it moist, uh, depending on you know what your preference is. Stir it up, put the lid back on, turn it on high for 15 minutes just to warm it all up, and okay. you're good to go. All right, awesome. Root beer pulled pork. When we come back, we're gonna walk through our recipes one more time and also meet one of the uh, families that is involved in bringing some of these incredible products that we use on Great Tastes of Manitoba every week. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Great Tastes of Manitoba. Filmed on location at Supper Central at Keniston Commons.